왜 그런지 몰라 Hello everyone, this is Gia Dorant. I just want to remind you all that if you hear some grammar mistakes, please don't kill me I'm really bad at English so be kind to me. He. Hi guys, I'm back again with my opinion about Etsy's new title track music video titled Loco. I'm so happy for them because they finally have their debut studio album. First of all, what I really liked and very excited for this song is that, it is composed by Galactica the team who produced their previous hit songs. I love their song Wannabe and it was produced by Galactica so I really expected for this song to be a real banger too. Though Not Shy and Mafia in the Morning is very unique and catchy songs too. Their management is doing great at making their teasers too because it was not spoiled as much as their previous teasers where they spoiled like the highlight part in the chorus. Though many said that it was leaked, luckily I didn't listen to the leaked song and just waited for the official release. OMG R Eugene started the song, she's really their queen of letting the song. I think it's because her sassy voice really suits for the opening of their song and to match their concept. So I don't have a complaint about that. To be honest, the verses are quite messy. Like the rap part just popped up of nowhere and I think it's not a good idea. They don't have pre-chorus here just like in Wannabe, but... Cha Young singing before the chorus is still present and iconic. She's their pre-chorus queen after all. The chorus is the best, I really miss Kiji and Leah singing in the chorus. And I'm really happy it's finally back, it feels nostalgic since I really missed their real old concepts. I love the chords in the instrumental, and it sounds bomb and empowering. The up and down phrase in the chorus reminds me of their lyrics in their song Surf. The meaning of lyrics of this songs is literally their album name, Getting Crazy or Loco in Love. Missed their songs that is all about self-confidence. I'm quite disappointed because I thought there will be a bridge part, but it don't have. We'd love the song even more if they put a bridge with Leah or Chow Young singing in the bridge, their vocals would be perfect for it. For the set of their music video, it's their most colorful and vibrant music video just like their icy music video, and I really liked it. I think they used green screen set. Some scenes but it's not a problem, green screen edits and sets are still highly budgeted to so I don't underestimate it. Love the last set, where they made a rock and light dark party theme. For their outfits, I'm satisfied but I thought their outfits in the actual music video will be different from their outfits in teaser and photo shoot previews. Though it's not a big deal since the outfits are really expensive and fancy looking. But glad they wear a variety of outfits in the music video. Who own this era? Well, I can say is that Chao Yong got less lines and less screen time. I didn't notice her so much in the music video. I'm sad she didn't have the spotlight to be in the center for their dance break part, but that doesn't mean that I don't like Ryujin and Yuji to be in the center since they're really good dancers too. It's just Chao Yong didn't give justice in this era. Same as Yuna. I noticed more lines and screen times for Yuji and Leah, it's obvious because they are singing a lot at the chorus and verses. So I do think Yuji and Leah really shine in this era, not being biased. Their visuals really outstand here especially at Leah, she can be a vlogger. Overall, the song is good. Really loved and satisfied by the music video set, the chorus, and the dance break. Oh I think the line distribution will be pretty fair but I don't think it will be fairer than Mafia in the morning or not shy. I feel like this will be their best era, same as Wannabe. I think Loco and Wannabe will be my favorite title track songs of them. Really appreciate Etsy, their division management, and their song producers, in putting effort for this whole album. What's your opinion about their newest album? Let me know by commenting below. I will be making the full album commentary, so stay tuned. This is Gia Dorant, see you soon. Bye.